Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Virtual Verse. Last time we left off, we made it here to the desert. If I stare at the sun any longer, I'll lose my sight. Well, I mean, you're already gonna have, like, schizophrenia and stuff, I believe, because of that fruit that we ate, so... I mean, what's losing your sight to? Alright, so... Let's continue. Still no computer. I'm, uh, recording this... The previous episode and this episode are recorded in the same day. Tour bus, so there's the tour bus. Okay, so this is like a mini map of sorts. So we can go to any of these places. Let's go to the hut first. So um, I'm supposed to be getting my computer back um, sometime within the next few days. They said they weren't sure when they would get to it. So we'll just see. Electronic component. Another one? Huh, I have two now. Interesting. Refrigeration engine. Cool. So yeah, my computer's still being worked on. I think this device keeps the hut's temperature cool. It's been assembled with scavenged components. It's still being worked on, but it should be finished soon. So that's good. Bone. It's not moving. The ground has become too compacted to remove it by hand. Too compacted to move it by hand, huh? How about pincers? Are you kidding me? No, I wasn't actually, but thanks for laughing at me. Seems to not be the case. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know what I could use to... remove that out of the ground. Wow, I still have the fruit, huh? I guess if we ever need to talk to the guy again, that's why we didn't eat all of it. It's made out of hardware parts glued together. It looks bizarre, but I like it for some reason. Yeah, that is kind of a cool idea for a house. Huh. Um, finally, someone has come. I have been here for many, so many years. I have been looking at this wall all this time. I just want to see the dunes again. Please, get me out of here. That's incredibly sad. A lot of scribbles about engineering, geology, and math. That is so, wow, just being, like, I mean, obviously, I think it's a, it's either like an android or just a robot in general. But the fact that this entire existence has just been staring at this wall and it's been waiting for someone to come and move it is incredibly, incredibly sad. Locations. Some kind of map. I mean, it's an empty map with some dots on it, that's all. Maybe it's unfinished? Electronic component. Apparently we're just collecting these now. I'm not sure how many of them we need, but... Surveillance system? Intimidating. Get monitor. It's displaying nothing but static. Okay, so I gotta keep that locations map in mind. Let me go ahead and write that down in my notes. Alright, so I wrote that down in my notes so that we can remember. Yep, it's an android. She looks sad. I mean, it looks sad. What? Are you talking? Yes, I'm still on. Please, I need to get out of here. I've been on the verge of self-destruction. But I've never had the courage to leave this world while still looking at this wall. Just take me out so I may know peace. Can you tell me more about this place? This was Radinsky Chekhov's laboratory. He worked here for a long time. What was he working on? I don't know the technical details. I am just a pleasure bot. But it took so long for my owner to build this machine. And he was very close to finishing it when he suddenly disappeared after a sandstorm. The sandstorm brought giant stones and destroyed everything around here. Including my legs. I am just a useless bot now. I just want to shut down. Sorry to hear about your misfortune. I'll take you out. That's messed up. It's really sad, actually. Ah. Now. Now I can finally rest. Oh. Okay. Okay, desert. Hardware desert. Why are you starting off so sad? Am I gonna come across the android graveyard like in, um, Detroit Become Human next? Jeez. Okay. Just went ahead and disabled the Steam overlay in game so that, uh, like the notifications that my friends are getting on the various things won't pop up. Alrighty. So, we've explored the hut. We got a few things from there. We noted a few things. Oh yeah, I forgot to... I forgot to write down the bone. Let's see. 
I'll just write it down at the end of the episode. Hopefully I don't forget it. I don't think I will. Alright, so crashed lane. I've already like cut out so much of me in this episode, so I just want to be careful. Oh, there's a person here. Didn't expect to see a person. Seems like it took its last ride a long time ago. I haven't got the key, but I don't think this car will ever start up. Solitary Traveler. He looks lonely. Hey, that eye looks really bad. Uh, wait, what's that? Can you hear me? Who's there? Stay away from my hardware. All I have left is junk. Leave me alone. Relax, I'm, I'm not here to hurt you. You better get that eye checked out by Medbot, though. Medbot? It's just me and a few others around here. It's been ages since anyone came here for a visit. Who are you, and what are you doing here anyway? I'm just walking around. I'm an adventurer. Good luck, then. There's not much to see around here. Have you been to the lighthouse? There's a nice view from there. I'd drive you there if I still had the ability. What happened to your eye? It was years ago. A sandstorm hit the site. A plane had trouble in the storm and crashed here. Everyone died in the crash, and I got this gift of an eye. I've been unable to drive ever since. Seems like driving is really important to you. I've been doing it my whole battery life. I was built for it. It was my sole purpose. But now it's all over. I'm just a piece of junk. Oh, so you're an android too? Or do you mean, are you a person and for some reason you run off of a battery? Hmm. So I'm guessing that's your car. Nice one. I wonder if it still works though. You bet it does. Four, 145 years of service. She never let me down, not once. Instead, I let her down. 145, so yeah, you probably are an android. This place looks like it's full of hardware. Did you look around? Are you serious or making fun of me? I would if I could. It just so happens that I can't see anything. That was my only working eye. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. All right, but enough about that. Unless you can help me out, it just makes me more depressed. Is there something I can do to help you? I need to see again. All the best. I need to get going. It needs to see again. I don't think we have anything for that. I think the two components belong to the same device, but I don't want to connect them and accidentally fry them. I think I need some sort of reference to go by. Okay, so that's why we're collecting all these component parts. There must be something we do with this character. There's nothing I'd interact with the car. Use car door? What's that noise? The car door is locked. Okay, so he doesn't want us messing with this car. There could be something interesting in there, like another component? I mean, I'm imagining that there's a reason we're collecting all of these things, so... Crashed plane, Sphinx bot. The lighthouse, oh jeez, there's a Sphinx. We're gonna get a riddle, aren't we? Fun, fun. All right, went ahead and took the opportunity to jot down a few notes. It's trying to remove graffiti from the outer wall. There's no way that robot can the robot can do it since it's partially broken. I wonder how long the machine has been roaming around here like this. Liquid proof protector spray on anything? Hmm, there must be something we can do to the robot, right? Grapple it? Whoa, is this actually going to work? Wow, I I can't believe this is actually working. That was risky. What the hell? Okay, okay, I'm 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 glad I just saw that and was like, "Okay, let's let's try using the grappling hook on it. Maybe that'll work." <laughs> then yep, sure enough, we just flew up here. Jeez. Okay, that was crazy. Well, that, could, that saved me a potentially getting very, very confused later on when I didn't have some sort of item that I needed. Shower faucet's been removed. Barricade. A pile of crap is blocking the way. I can't move it. Yeah. Come on, there's got to be something in here, though. It's full of dirt and sand. 
Even if I needed it, this toilet is completely clogged with sand and dirt. Wood pole? Hope it's not a structural part of the building or I'm fucked. Okay, so all we got from this... Oh wait, there might be something in the bathroom cabinet. What we got? Yes, we got some pills or something. It miraculously survived. Okay, graffiti? Real world graffiti, not AVR. It's surely from long ago. Okay, so... I know, I'm not sure if we can get back up here, so let's just make sure we have everything. Shower faucet has been removed. I mean, I don't suppose there's anything we can do with that. That just seems like some flavor text, and I'm not missing anything else here. We got two items, so I'm guessing we're good. So, actually, how in the world do I get out of here? Our grappling hook is now gone. I believe. SOS pills. I don't know what those are for. Okay. Um, how do Nathan get out? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, barricade. Wood pole? Nope. Hmm. The rusty saw. I could saw through the barricade. I hate manual labor, but let's do this. Okay, wow, that's actually the solution. I thought he would say, like, the rusty saw wouldn't be able to cut through it. Okay, well, that's good. I, I, since there was no other way out, I knew I had to have the item I needed in my inventory. I bet there's a dead body cut into pieces inside. Wow, dark. How about we cut it open with our saw and find out? I don't want to cut it. <laughs> Cabinet. It's empty. I don't think it's concealing anything behind it. Sink? It's been taken from a different bathroom. There's no water. Anything useful in this room at all? I guess there could be something in the stove. Look at stove. I would have to guess someone left the gas on. I totally suck at cooking. Wait, seriously? Nothing. You're not gonna do anything with it? And what am I supposed to do in here? And how do I get out? Oh, okay, downstairs. Okay, cool. Here's another option. Good. Are you good, little buddy? You're not good, little buddy. Alright, well, I got the damaged robot. I'm not sure what that's going to do for me, but... We got it. Alright, and... There were a couple of things left in that house, I guess. Maybe I should write some of that down. I think it was just the stove, really. That was the only thing left. Wait, we never did get to the top of the lighthouse, did we? If we even could? Let, let's just let's just make sure I didn't miss something there. So, because I, I think we clicked like on the bottom half of the door. We were clicking on the doors. So maybe there was a way to go up another level here? Yeah, there was. Okay, I'm glad I checked that. Would have been unfortunate if I missed it. Okay, so... It's just this antenna, looks like. Looks fully functional. This will serve as a reference to build another antenna using the components I found. I can't move it. It's bolted to the railing. Okay, so... Do we connect to these two parts together? Think carefully, it doesn't make sense. I'll assemble it using the right lighthouse one for reference. Looks like an ordinary antenna, but the bottom part includes some hardware I've never seen before. Uh, oh, there it is. The bottom part includes some hardware I've never seen before, so what's this other electronic component for? Maybe I should reconsider that. This one's fully functional, yeah, okay. So we must be good. This other electronic component must just be if the one I have currently fails or something, I guess. That's all I can really think of. Oh well, let's go check out the other part of the map. I feel like I'm finding a lot of items here, so we may actually be doing good puzzle-wise this time. I feel like my biggest problem on the Waka was I was just casually missing a bunch of things that I could do. But it feels like I'm completing most areas when I go to them this time. That is so cool. Stop right there, you little worm. Unless you, my wrath you'd feel. Do not move another inch in foolish, youthful zeal. Instead, be gone for real. 
Wait, what? I didn't do anything. Move no more, you flee, if you wish to live. Show me the respect, or I will make you bleed. Um, I feel like this is potentially dangerous? Oh jeez, holy shit. I'll just stay right here. Um, okay, so it doesn't want anything to use antenna? I don't get it. Um, remote control. It worked fine, but I just don't need it anymore. Is there anything I can do to stop this? Hmm. I don't think I see anything. Use junk on laser hole. Best to think of something better. Ooh, maybe we reflect it back at it? I kind of thought that would work with the TV. Are you sure? Like, I thought maybe that was what the junk was finally going to be used for. Like, we could reflect it off the screen, but I'm not sure if the physics of that really works. Cleaning robot? Think about it more. Hmm. Wood pole fuel tank? Maybe I should reconsider that. Yeah. I just don't know if I have what's needed here. Hoverboard. This has been in our inventory a while. <laughs> nope. Are my glasses? No. Alright, well, evidently we need something to kind of reflect the laser back at the Sphinx, probably. In order to make it stop doing that. So, maybe we get a mirror or something somewhere? If I had to guess? I'm curious about this thing's story. Who brought it here, and how? What's a giant ideogram doing here? What was, what was that noise? I can't tell if that was in-game or outside. <laughs> Look at yet another monitor. That's definitely outside. That's the garbage being emptied. CRT monitors everywhere. When the story blows over, I'll move here. I don't know, man. Doesn't look like too nice of a place. Look at hills of junk. For real, there's just a huge amount of junk stacked piece by piece. Okay, we're not missing anything back here, are we? Because he kind of advanced pretty far. Yet another monitor. Just another sign. Okay. And it looks like we have a android tied to a post here as some kind of warning. That is incredibly messed up. For real, there's just a huge amount of junk. No, not that, the android. He's still alive, despite his condition. That's messed up. Oh, jeez. Hello, I'm Nathan. You really look like a mess. What happened to you? Leave me alone, please. I don't know anything. My memory is long gone. Wait, I, I, I don't want to hurt you. And I didn't even ask anything. What are you referring to? Sorry, I, I've been tortured for so long. People come here to ask me things. Things that I, I don't know anything about. What kinds of things? I've been stuck here for years. People come asking me for the source code. I have no arms, no legs. My memory was reset long ago. I'm totally useless now. I'm sorry to hear that, but don't worry. I'm looking for the source code too, but I'm not planning anything nasty. I knew it. Please don't hurt me. Chill out. Who or what are you? I am an X4555 servant robot, class 86. The most popular one. My ROM set includes a basic set of actions. And I have a 24 terabyte information database. All erased at the moment. Okay, so this must be the servant bot that hit it. Because it said, he said it erased his memory, but no, he also said it was programmed to self-destruct, so this may not be the same one. Who brought you here, and why were you impaled? I do not know. My memory was reset. Apparently, I was supposed to self-destruct. But something went wrong. Okay, so this is you. Got it. You remember anything about your owner? No. All my experience data has been wiped. I have been stuck on this pole for ages, and tortured with senseless questions. 
I'm not asking, can you help me find the source code? That just seems mean. <sighs> Should I ask it? <laughs> I mean, it's a dialogue option, so I feel like I need to, but... Can you help me find the source code? Please stop asking about the, about the source code. I do not know anything. I already told you. Okay, see you next time. So that was a pointless option. Android... So, I can't interact with anything with it. So there's nothing there. Cool. So yeah, there's just a ton of androids in this graveyard. So this must be the droid the Cypher Master was talking about. It was supposed to self-destruct, but for some reason it's still here. Unfortunately, it's of no use because its memory has been wiped. I'll have to find another way to locate the game box. There's another electronic component. Pick up shovel. Ooh, okay, so I can use that to get the bone out. So we should go ahead and follow up on that now. Oh. Hey, jerk. What the hell? What the? Great. Enormous stash of hardware. Hi-fi, computers, pre-IoT appliances. I'm absolutely sure there's a shitload of salvageable components, components here. I would love to do some treasure hunting here, but I have no time for it right now. What if there's something important in there? Mole hole. It's too small for a human being. I probably need you then, right? The robot can definitely go there for me, but I need to find a way to control it remotely first. Hmm. It worked fine, but I don't need it anymore. Use the cleaning robot on it? What are you thinking? Maybe the antennas would let me control it remotely? Well, no, because I need the antenna to get in there and get it. Wood pole. It, it says it could definitely go in there. I just need to find a way to control it remotely. Think, Nathan, think. Okay, so that's not going to work. I mean, to me, it seems like the remote control, but apparently the game does not agree. It also doesn't even seem like the robot's working right now, although I could have just turned it off. Alright, well, let's not worry about it for now. I think I've done everything I can do over here. Yeah, I think we're good now. Let's maybe talk to you, see if you have any new dialogue. Anything, sir? Uh, nope. See you next time. There must be something I can use on the android there, because it has me go into that screen like I can do something. Oh, can I use the... Let's see if this works. Great, the robot has a very simple wireless interface. I can control it with my glove now. Oh, finally. Finally, finally, finally. Okay, that worked. Also, I thought I disabled the Steam overlay. <laughs> I, I guess that doesn't include the achievement pop-ups? I guess those are notifications. So yeah, now we can use the cleaning robot. We finally got to use the Ultra Gloves of Power for something. To be called the Ultra Gloves of Power, they haven't been, really been used much. It's cleaning robot on mole hole. Yeah. I'm glad I had that idea in my head. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, we're solving puzzles now. Jeez, I'm doing really, really well at this part. Make sure there's no other things I could have it pick up and scavenge for me. Ooh. I get zapped? I did. Okay, so I probably gotta go across when that electricity isn't going across. Or not? Huh. It seems like it gets me no matter what. Like, even if I time it, it doesn't care. Yeah, it's just, it's stopping me no matter what. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can, get, I can get in there to get it. So let's leave. I probably have to do something else. Hmm. The robot is wet. I think there's some water down there. Preventing it from executing my commands. Water. How would I get rid of water? Liquid proof protector spray? <gasps> Yes, on the robot. Oh, hell yeah. Gee, I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll this episode. Here it is. Now it's waterproof. I am on a roll this episode. <laughs> I don't know what I I don't know what I had this morning, but 
I'm, I'm getting things done. I think this is the most progress I've made in a single episode, like, ever, possibly. Although I might be exaggerating a bit. All right, now we're good. Hey, give me that electronic component, jerk. Yeah, screw you. Is there anything else in here? There's nothing, no other things I can interact with? Doesn't seem like it. So yeah, you're just here to grab me this. Cool, so now we have another component which we can use to make another antenna, which will be useful. Great, I have the component. Cool, so we use that on you. I'll assemble it for the lighthouse one. Looks like an ordinary antenna, but the bottom part has some hardware I've never seen before. So I imagine we need to set these up to three different high points so we can triangulate something? Is what I would guess. But I'm not really sure why. Can I, can I use it on you? I'm just wondering what's going on in your mind right now. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Me, me too. I understand, Nathan. I'm, I'm not the brightest tool in the shed, and even though I feel like I've got a lot of progress done in this, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Alrighty. So, the only other loose end I can think of right now is to go back to the hut and dig up that bone. Which is possibly the skeleton of the guy that lived here. Look at antenna. Rusty and unstable. Oh, is this one of the locations? I'd never do anything like that. Okay, well, let's dig up the bone with our shovel. You shovel on bone. At least I managed to keep my pants up. What does that mean? Poor man. He's holding something in his hand. I wonder what he's holding. Damn, he's holding it very firmly. How is this possible? What the hell? It looks like it's holding some kind of scanner. Wait, what, what happened there? His, like, head blew off, I guess? Good skull. So this must be the digital archaeologist sent here by the Cypher Master. Wait. There's something glowing inside of his skull. Hmm. Skull. Look at. There's something blinking inside. Pick up. It belongs in this place. Pincers, maybe? I have no idea what you have in mind. I was thinking getting the pincers in there and trying to grab whatever's in there, potentially, but... Radar? Interesting. Screwdriver? It has no screws to screw. I mean, maybe he had some head screws. Saw the skull? I don't want to cut it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's a level that um, Nathan is willing to go and uh, desecrating a skull probably isn't... There isn't something I can do, but I... This isn't something I should do, but I need to complete my mission. Wait, we're actually... Okay, that was... That was the solution. Breaking open the skull. Pick up AVR chip. Better show this to Jay. Maybe she can make some sense of this. The so digital archaeologist is dead, but I still managed to recover his AVR chip. I should take this to Jay and dump the data to check if there's some useful information about how to get the game box. Okay. So, yeah, I was, I was sitting here about to say that, yeah, Nathan's not willing to go so far as desecrating a skull. And then he did. So, I was thinking, like, you didn't even need to use the shovel on it. Couldn't you have just stomped? I made a mess. Oh, so that's what happened when he, he like, kind of yanked on it. And that's what made it seem like his skeleton, like, exploded or whatever. Alright, so we have quite a few loose ends now, so... I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here, and next time, hopefully with my computer back, we will pick back up at this location. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Virtualverse, and I will see you next time.